Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tim Philly Fan here. I'm going to try something a little new. I'm going to see how I can do with sports talk. All right, I'm going to talk about the Flyers' offseason moves. Now, let's start. Who I think is the most exciting move the Flyers got? Undoubtedly, it's Vinny LeCavier. I mean, the leadership he brings to the team is unmatched from any other player in free agency. Basically, you've got a cheaper and, I think, better replacement for Danny Breer. Now, I look at LeCavier's stats... He has 32 points last year in 39 games, 10 goals, and 22 assists. thing that worries me, though, he's been injured a lot during his career. Uh, the last few years, he's missed chunks of games. He played 65 games in 2010-2011. In 11-12, he had 64 games. And last year, he had 39 out of the 48-game season. Who I think might be actually turn out to be the best signing for the Flyers might be Ray Emery. Emery, 17-1 last year. I mean, I know he was with a great Chicago Blackhawks team, but you just can't tell me that Emery did so good because of how good the Blackhawks were. You need hard work to play that well. It's not just going to be good for you because of the team in front of you. You're the back end. You're the last line of defense. You're going to have to do good if you want the, other, the rest of the team to succeed. Emery uh, had 922 save percentage last year and a 1.94 goals against average, which are above the league average. And I think him and Mason, I think $2 million less than Brisgolov last year, are going to be a great pair. And Emery loves Philadelphia. Mason showed good signs last year. I think they're going to do good competition with each other. I think it's going to be a good fit for the Flyers. Now, Mark Streit, I mean, I like, I don't know. It's kind of a split decision for me about the signing. Strite was really expensive. Um, I think it was it was over five million dollars per year for Strite for a 35 year old defenseman. Now I know we were in big need of the of a defenseman, but that is a lot of money for a 35 year old defenseman. I mean I know the good thing about him. I mean he's an offensive defenseman. Last year, he had 27 points in a full season, so he hasn't been injured in three or more years. 82 games played in 09-10 and 11-12, and 48 in 12-13. He has only played eight years in the league, which is a lot less wear and tear than other 35-year-olds. One more person I want to touch on right now, Simon Gagne. He's still in free agency. He has been offered contracts by other teams. He has not accepted them. He wants to be a flyer. I do think if the Flyers will have enough money, say uh, 1.52 mil left at the offseason, which is actually a good possibility they might, I think the Flyers will sign him. He's a fan favorite. We didn't have a good la year last year. What better way to bring back interest by signing Gagne, a leader? I mean, so tell me what you think, guys. Do you think I did a good job of this? Anything I can improve on? What do you think about my opinions? The signs of LeCavier, Emery, and Stripe? What do you think Gagne will do? Thanks for listening.